Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. So I watched a little update on what I've been watching, a documentary about Pamela Anderson. It was really good. You know, a lot of people are talking about now how she's going without makeup. And I, I think she looks great going around without makeup. I, I, I really, you know, think that it's actually kind of uncanny how chattery everyone is about it. Like it's just become such an expectation that people, celebrities, anyone, any woman always be made up. But this documentary, it really shows like she has, ha she has had a really hard life. Like a lot of, a lot of adversity she's had to overcome. And the whole thing about that tape, um, like, I just feel horrible for her. Um, she was really, really wrong by that. Um, let me know if you guys watched it. Does anyone else get annoyed by this? Skincare products where the label starts to wear off because the ingredients in the product, you know, you touch it or whatever, and the ink is just not that durable. That's what's happening here. That annoys me and it annoys me when a label starts to like come off. Let's get to a rinsing. I'm gonna put on, of course, my little toasties. <laughs> Loving these. They keep the drips from going all over. I need some kind of a thing too for the top. They need to make something like that, like a little bib because I always get drips here too. Anyway. Not too bad. I managed to escape unscathed. So yeah, I watched that. Let me know, have you guys watched anything good on, on the streaming services? Which I was complaining about this the other day, but the streaming services have gotten out of hand. Um, I'm gonna come in this morning with the Chestnut AHA 8% Clear Essence. This is a liquid exfoliant, pretty mild um, as I drop it. Pretty mild, uh, helps soften and smooth the skin surface. Great if you have like rough and bumpy skin. I've actually really been enjoying this. This is from, I got it in one of the Korean advent calendars. Um, but is it just me? Like I find the streaming services have gotten out of hand because it's like they're way too many, way too many. And whereas once upon a time we used to pay for you know either basic cable or if you were like real fancy, you had the elaborate packages and that got you access to all these channels and whatever was available. But now it seems as though instead of having something like that, the system with all these different streaming services is such that the streaming service itself is almost like a channel. And so now you're having to like have a paid membership to all of these different channels. And it, it's, it's just very frustrating and you don't really know what you are signing yourself up for. You don't really have a good sense of what the inventory on that channel, on that service is gonna be moving forward. Like, you know, cause they rotate stuff in and out. And I find I get tempted by one streaming service cause they have something I really wanna watch. And then I end up having to cancel later because well, there's really not much on that. It's frustrating, it's just, it's, it's a racket is what it is. I have Paramount Plus, which is actually pretty good. I have that because I'm a Walmart Plus member. I've been honestly the most impressed with Walmart Plus because I get groceries delivered free. Well, not free, but with the membership. And it syncs up with Ibotta, which is that grocery rebate app I'm always raving about. All right, coming in with the Madagascar Centella Hialu Sika. But I was ranting about the streaming services because, you know, I've got that one, but the other one's like, I don't like Netflix. Netflix has the worst, like sometimes they'll have really good stuff on there, but the majority of the stuff they have on there is garbage. Garbage. I also have my Amazon Prime video. That's pretty good. I don't watch TV, like I don't have television. I just like to watch a movie here and there or a documentary, that's what I like to watch. So I'm getting ready to go for a day at the club. Um, haven't been in a while, wanna look my best. And if you've been here for a while, you know what club I'm referring to. 
coming in with the Han All Brow Fixer K-Beauty Calendar Win. I've really been enjoying this because honestly, some of the even more heavily hyped and expensive ones at least that I've tried, I have been very underwhelmed. Like, what is this even doing? What is the point of this? So yesterday was Friday and I spent the morning doing my civic duty of jury duty first time i have been called to jury duty since moving to houston i've been here for over seven years already um and this was the first time i got called for jury duty and i have to say i was really impressed with the process uh last time i got called for jury duty was when i lived in man in new york in manhattan and that was a pain <laughs> if i'm being honest it was really disorganized the wi-fi was spotty and i remember it was really cold in the room they had us wait in no communication it was very chaotic this i was expecting it to be a headache and it was actually a really pleasant experience and i'm actually kind of bummed i did not get picked to participate in any kind of court case i was let go didn't even get asked any sort of questions to screen. They just, I don't know, didn't need me. But I have to say the process was really efficient. The facility, very clean, bright, well lit. I mean, for a government operation, I was like, where are we? So you get there, you're allowed to bring things to entertain yourself with, provided they are not sharp objects. So I made sure to leave my machetes behind so you go through security which was a breeze take your shoes off just like at the airport and they do give you fair warning that you're gonna have to do that and they recommend of course wearing socks then you check in by scanning a qr code so once you check in digitally with the qr code it tells you what room to go sit in and the rooms honestly gave me flashbacks to the kind of rooms that they have they had in med school like the lecture halls so you go in there temperature perfect not too cold not too hot i mean i had layers but it was great temperature out here they tend to blast the ac that's what i was expecting it was not like that they had drink machines snack machines complimentary coffee which i had already caffeinated in advance then they made you watch a video going over like reasons to get out of jury duty you know like if you have to take care of somebody who relies on you and you can't abandon them or you know you are in school all of those things which presumably you had figured out before you even got there i don't know why they needed to reiterate that like anyway so they showed a little video on that and they showed a little video again reiterating how to get your money your payment because you get paid for doing jury duty sat there for maybe an hour and honestly i brought my book you know i did some work on my phone I was gonna bring my laptop because there's Wi-Fi, which had a really good connection. As a side note, I was gonna bring my laptop, which would have been fine, but I didn't wanna log it there. And I ended up not being there all day. So I didn't, you know, it wouldn't have been worth it. And then they called you up in groups, took you up an elevator somewhere in a group. And then they basically turned us around, proceeded to take us back to the room, waited another maybe 30 minutes. And then they were like, okay, you can go. <laughs> So it was a breeze. It was a breeze. Let me know though. Have you been called for jury duty at all or recently? Did you get picked to serve on a trial? I've always kind of wanted to participate in that, even though, you know, it's kind of chaotic because you can end up, if you get picked and then the case goes on and on, you have to come back multiple days. That would stress me out. Like, um, I can do my civic duty one day, but y'all want me to be here every day for a week? I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, it's important. Anyway, so yeah, it was a really pleasant experience overall. Um, and I was really impressed with how polite and communicative all of the employees were there. They did a really good job. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Don't, don't try and weasel out of it because Unless your job is like eating ice cream for a living, trust me, this day of jury, jury duty is gonna be markedly better than going into work. <laughs> you also get your um, parking comp, so no complaints there. I made a list this time of what I need to get at the club so that 
you know, I have this bad habit of going there. And when I go to the club, because I don't go as often as I used to, I really like to look at everything, like go down every single aisle because I want to see if they got anything new. You know what I mean? Sometimes they get new stuff in, and if you don't go down every aisle, you're not going to know, and then, you know, FOMO. So I go down every aisle, and then I tend to get distracted, and I leave without the things I actually went there for. So I made a list this time on my phone. So hopefully I don't forget anything. I always feel like it's a milestone when you finish certain things that you've purchased from Costco. Recently, I finished the Costco uh, Quaker Oatmeal two massive bags of oatmeal. I eat oatmeal pretty much every day, so I feel like that's a bit of a victory to have made it through all that oatmeal. I also made it through a container of Costco cinnamon. Of course, I've been having that in my Costco oatmeal. Um, and what else do I need to get? I wanted to see if I need garbage bags for my kitchen garbage because I recently got garbage bags and they're the wrong size for my garbage, my garbage can. They're way, like way too big. And it's like the most annoying thing. I have like a little clothespin trying to clip the bag in the garbage can so that it doesn't fall. That's like driving me bonkers. Um, the bags themselves are really good though. So it's not a complete waste. Like they're the kind of bags that are really helpful if you do some like decluttering and you wanna take clothing, for example, to, you know, donate. That's what I'm gonna use them for. So not a waste, but I need bags to actually fit because it is, it is driving me berserk um, having to slip down. Recently, I've had a hard time finding their, they, they reposition, I should say, the Kirkland Signature Almond Milk. Used to be back by the chips with all the like drinks. Now it's in the, this little section in the produce area, kind of, kind of off the produce area. So it's, like I said, it's been a while since I've been to Costco. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the Etude Vol, Vol Fix black mascara today I'm gonna wear because I typically wear my long comey doll, but this came in one of the advent calendars and it's pretty good. Um, I'm not mad at this at all. Um, it kind of has a, a, a wand somewhat like the Lash Adol, not as marked of a, of a curvature, but I like these wands because I like doing it this way for the top and then flipping it around for the bottom. Gives pretty good length. I think my time to anybody who has lost their eyelashes, whether it be related to chemotherapy, you know, as a side effect of medications, or alopecia areata, an autoimmune attack of hair follicles, it is, it is miserable. I mean, it's it's a pain, you know, it's very uncomfortable. So for those folks, you know, bimatoprost, aka Latisse, is definitely therapeutic. Not everything that is hyped up as a prescription cosmetic, whether it be Latisse, Botox, which isn't a prescription, but you know what I mean. Not everything like that is necessarily purely cosmetic vanity all of the time. So like I just said, with Latisse or Bomatoprost, like it ends up becoming helpful in a functional sense for people who have completely lost their lashes and their eye health is suffering. Okay, I'm coming in with this Peripera lip liner. Speaking of, augmentation. When I line my lips, I, I lined my lips with this and used the ink velvet a couple of times in videos and I saw some comments, did you get lip filler? No, I just rarely ever line my lips because I am so inept at doing it. But this is very user friendly. If I can line my lips with this, anyone can do it because I find it's like really smooth. A lot of lip liners, it's like dragging some crusty crayon across your face, uh, across your lip. And it's like, what is that even doing? But See how smooth that is? And it's just real subtle, you know? Requires minimal effort. So this is a shade Rosy Nude and then the Ink Velvet, number 17, also that's Rosy Nude. It's kind of similar though to the Etude Fixing Tint. It's a long wear lip tint. Um, just, you know, slightly different packaging. It, it reminds me exactly of that. Easy, easy. So easy I can do it, all right? So that is a testament to this lip liner. All right, let's come on in with a little Billy to complete the to complete the couture. All right, I'm wearing this little sort of soft, smooth knit. It's just a knit top, really comfortable from the brand Chaps. I got this 
at Walmart. It's perfect for the climate here. And then it's, you know, seasonally appropriate with Valentine's coming up. And, and I'm just wearing those jeans from Halara that I love because they have a waistband that does not have a zipper or a button. It's just an elastic waistband, which I think more jean companies should try and do because a lot of people are allergic to nickel and the buttons in your jeans can definitely aggravate your skin, cause a dermatitis on around your belly button. Speaking of the club, last time I was there, I purchased these LED candles and I don't know if you guys have noticed them in the background of my videos, but not mad at these. Oops, why is he not? Did I turn him off? Sometimes I get confused and I, yeah, let's flip that. I love these. Like, I love the fact that the LED is in the little tip too, so it looks like the candle is on. Then this guy came from Five Below. Isn't he cute? Um, and he does different, lights up in different colors. You just whack him on the head and he'll change color. <laughs> He's cute, huh? All right, so I'm here at Costco and I think I'm gonna get this. Again, like I said, I have to go down every aisle. Um, because these, although, I don't know, $30, is this a good deal? It doesn't really seem like it is, because I feel like you can get a whole, a whole pack of these for much less. I don't know. $30 seems kind of expensive for that. But it's $15 for one. Mm, I'm gonna pass for now. It may be the kind of thing that goes on sale. This, on the other hand, is definitely worth it. These wireless power banks. I think I'm gonna get this because I have a power bank. I got so organized, I don't know where it is, but I thought I might need it for jury duty and I couldn't find it anywhere. These are the kind of things though where you can never have too many. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another one. It looks like this will clamp right onto the phone directly too. Yeah, definitely gonna get that. Something I 100% do not need, but Oh my gosh, 26 count of these writing utensils, which you, if you've been here for a while, you know I am a pen lover. I especially love, I don't really use the midliners that much, but this brand has these markers that are like little dots for making lists that I adore. $15.99, $15.99. That'd make a great Valentine's gift for someone that Right. <laughs> so I recently stumbled upon this YouTube channel. I can't remember the channel name. It was just on a recommended and I watched of this guy who is really into calligraphy and um, he was talking about cursive writing. And so for fun, I decided to try writing in cursive again. It's been a long time. I'm a little rusty, but it's kind of fun. So fun thing about me, my writing style is like a hybrid between cursive and cuneiform but I haven't done like full blown cursive in a long time where you, you know, don't pick up your pen while writing a word out. So that's definitely something you get rusty on. Highly recommend these um, coat hangers. I'm tempted to get, like I need some more, but I don't know that I need 50 more. Ugh, decisions, decisions. Oh, these are really good. Um, these collapsible laundry totes. This is a lot bougier. I have I have these. I, I love them. So good. I don't need it anymore, but you get a two pack for $18.99. Like it shows here, they'd be really good in the back of your car for carrying stuff in. This looks like a, some new rendition of the Ninja Foodie in blue. Ninja Foodie Possible Cooker Pro. Eight and a half quart. You can make chili for 20 people. Um, I, I've gotta talk myself down from this because uh, when am I gonna make chili for 20 people? Never. But is it basic? It kinda, I'm not trying to be shady, but it kinda looks like just a crock pot, no? I mean, what, a crock pot, Dutch oven, roasting pan, bread maker, mm, and you get this spoon. Let me know if you guys have used this. It's, it's not got an air fryer, so it's not really bringing that much to the table in comparison to an instant pot. I guess the Dutch oven, the shape of it, I'll give it that. The shape of it is is more in line with, you know, some of these. What do I know? I'm still using my um, Kosari brand multi cooker, which is, you know, I've, I've had for like six years now, still going strong. Mm, microwave. And 
and here we are. Somebody, oh, why do people do that? Maybe it was haphazard loading that that led to that. Anyway, two five pound bags, 110 servings, um, 10.99, 69 cents an ounce. I was looking though, you have the Kirkland rolled oats. I would have assumed this would be less expensive, but it's not. And you have this massive awkward bag that you have to finoodle with. These are new. Grains and seeds. Those look good. I have all that at home though, that I can, I typically add a lot of these things already to my oatmeal, so. Well, Costco did not disappoint. Everything I needed, I got off my list. Now, next stop, the pump, because I gotta pump, pump, pump it up. I will not get gas. I mean, I never say never, but I go out of my way not to get gas at like shell stations anymore because there's so much crime um, at those shell stations that are like right on, like right on the ramp to get on the highway that I just feel on on edge whenever I am I'm getting gas at one of those. Like I'm gonna get mugged. $17.29, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I That wasn't quite a full tank. I still had like a little over a quarter of a tank in, 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 the, uh, in, the, in the tank. <laughs> the other thing I like about getting gas at Costco is I don't feel, I feel as though maybe I'm wrong. I don't think they um, up chart, uh, you know, I don't think they increase the price on the weekends, which is something a lot of gas stations do. Um, they jack up the price on the week weekdays, weekdays, weekends, because you know everybody's out and about, fueling up and the like, running errands, doing all the stuff that the work week prohibits, all those maintenance tasks that adulting gets in the way. Adulting prohibits adulting. You know, it's like. Well, guys, today I filmed a video on the skin signs of hypermobile ehlers danlos syndrome. So if that sounds like something you have heard about, you think you might have, definitely check this video out. I know it's not going to be for everyone because it's a really rare condition, but over the years, I've gotten so many requests here and there from you guys to talk more about hypermobility in the skin and skin disorders related to ehlers danlos so I'm really excited. I hope it's helpful for those of you who have asked about it. If you take the time to watch the video, if anything, it will illustrate to you how valuable collagen is in our skin. And even though, you know, with age, collagen levels decline, that's what's responsible for the appearance of skin laxity and also the appearance of wrinkles. And we're trying to fight that. It, the decline in that in women is hastened with the onset of menopause and fall in estrogen levels. All that to say, like we do still have functional collagen in our skin that is being made. And you can see how in this condition, all of the skin signs and things that can go awry when the collagen is fragile. I've been using, this came in a FabFitFun box, which I buy myself. So this is not technically, this isn't PR or anything. Um, it's the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I gotta say, I've been pretty happy, although I am a little, I'm always a little doubtful of this ultra fine mist. Um, like, is that even getting on? So I think I'm a little aggressive with how much I use, but it's it's been nice. Like, tonight I did a workout video from, I'm blanking on her name, Olivia Lawson, I think it is. It was this 5,000 step, walking workout. I love this walking workouts on YouTube. This one was about 35 minutes. It's my second time doing it. And man, I actually really feel it um, when I do it afterwards. Like it's not super intense or anything, but it just probably because it works certain muscles that honestly, I haven't really worked that um, intently in a while. And I think, you know, I want to say a while ago, I discovered one of her other workout videos and really liked it a lot too. Um, but I, I really enjoy the walking ones. Leslie Sanson is my favorite, but um, she doesn't put out content regularly. Her walk at home program though, I think you can buy and subscribe to, and it seemed like a good deal. Her workouts are really a lot of fun, but this um, Olivia Lawson woman I discovered, this particular workout was really fun. 
but you do feel it. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for making it to the end of the vlog. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourself, getting some relaxing in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.